What do you call an alligator in a vest? An investigator. What did the crocodile say to the alligator? See you later. That's it. Because they're, they're friends, so. Hello, good morning, or whatever time you're watching this. It has been a while. I got a new phone, so my image should be nice and sharp just like the teeth of certain carnivores. For example, the crocodile and the alligator. What, is that what we're talking about today? <laughs> wow, what a segue, who knew? I did. Crocodilians have been around for about 450 million years. Um, and if this puts it in perspective at all, that means that they have now outlived dinosaurs by 65 million years. Both crocodiles and alligators can swim about 20 miles an hour and travel on land at about half of that speed. They generally prefer to swim though and you probably don't want to be caught in the water with them because the way they capture and kill their food is by picking it up and violently shaking it until it's broken. Don't let that be you. Both crocodiles and alligators like to live in slow moving water and grassland areas. Crocodiles have much higher functioning salt glands than alligators do, so they can tolerate much saltier water while alligators just like fresh water and that's it. Today you can find alligators in a small part of China in the lower Yangtze River. There are not very many of them left, unfortunately. The Chinese alligator is critically endangered and there are thought to be only about 150 of them left in the wild. You can find alligators in the United States as well, in the southeastern part of the country. Crocodiles can be found in North, Central, and South America, in Africa, in Australia, and even in parts of Asia. They are native to a much wider area than alligators. And if you are out in the wild trying to identify if what you're looking at is a crocodile or an alligator, the only place you should ever be wondering that is down here in Florida's Everglades. That is the only place that both crocodiles and alligators inhabit. So it's probably just a crazy Florida man in a costume. Sorry, Florida, you just make it so easy. Let's talk physical differences. Alligators have a U-shaped snout, whereas crocodiles are more angular and V-shaped. You can remember this because A and U are both vowels, so alligators are U-shaped, and C and V, consonants, crocodiles are V-shaped. Because of the shape of a crocodile's jaw, when its mouth is closed, you can still see all of its teeth, whereas in an alligator, not so much. And you can remember that because crocodile rhymes with smile and it's got a nice toothy grin. Like me! Or, you know, probably your favorite grandparent. Or dog. Alligators can grow up to 15 feet long, but most of them only have four. <laughs> Crocodiles tend to grow only up to about 17 feet, but they're much beefier animals and can weigh up to 2,000 pounds. Alligators only grow up to about 500 pounds. Bonus fact, caterpillar time! Alligators can live between 30 to 50 years and crocodiles average 70 to 100. Also, as far as we know, they don't die of old age. The order Crocodilia contains both crocodiles, alligators, and gharials. In total, there are 23 species that fall into this order. Order! Order in the video! I've heard crocodile meat is actually quite tasty, uh, but I'm a vegetarian, so. Both crocodiles and alligators can swim up to 20 miles an hour, about, and they can hold their breath for up to an hour. I can hold my breath for approximately, I don't actually know. Let's see. I decided to take this interlude to make a vegan cake for my cousin. So here we are, you get to watch me make a cake with very little recipe because my preferred method is to throw stuff in a bowl and hope it all works out. That's maybe two cups, yeah, it's gonna be great.
Again, I don't measure things. So moving on. Wow, does my whistling actually sound that clear? Good job, me. Bonus points for you if you can name the song. This hazelnut cake sounds good. Whenever you make chocolate things, always pro tip, put a little bit of espresso. It's not a pro tip, I'm not a pro. Because it, it just makes it way more delicious. But it does make it delicious. I'm a mess, everyone. A little extra for fun, but I like chocolate. One and a half cups, okay, that's probably like that much and that much. Cool. Two cranks of a thing. Yeah, that's probably good. Some vanilla. Vanilla is always just to taste anyways. Is somebody please tell me if this is wrong? Ooh, I could put some cayenne pepper in it and make like a spicy cake. No, no, I think it's fine. Maybe some cinnamon, chocolate cinnamon cake. Yeah, let's do that. That sounds great. Friendly reminder that in an alternate universe somewhere, I'm still holding my breath. Peanut chocolate cinnamon cake. That sounds good, right? Well, note, these are not liquid English muffins. That would be disgusting. This might not go well. This is my favorite part. I actually took out a teaspoon, looked at it, and then ignored it and eyeballed how much I should put in. But I'm making it up as I go along anyway. Now so. I'm putting what looks like vinegar into this cake. Listen, I probably don't follow my example. What am I even doing? I would like to say that I'm not actually a horrible baker. Looks like cake, smells like vinegar. Did I do this right? This tastes terrible. I'm gonna cook it anyways, cause maybe it'll be funny. I mean, this was a horrible baking experience, but in general, I'm not such a horrible baker. Is this batter is gross. How am I supposed to expect the cake to be good? Okay, little cakey thing. Grow big and strong. Bye. I think that was about 30 seconds. Humans are supposed to be able to hold their breath for longer than that. Anyways. In case you forgot, here's a reminder that we're talking about crocodiles and alligators. They don't chew their food either. They will actually just either swallow the entire animal or chunks whole. Um... The point of them having teeth is more so that they can grip creatures that they're thrashing about to destroy. Um, because, again, they don't chew. So, probably don't invite one over for dinner. Probably don't invite one over for dinner anyways. Both animals have great eyesight and their ears are so keen that they can actually hear their young inside their eggs. At least... The San Diego Zoo says so, but I really am not sure how they know. But the San Diego Zoo is a good zoo, so I'm just, I'm gonna trust them on this one. Both alligators and crocodiles have dermal pressure receptors or small little pits in their skin that help them sense things around them. Using these pressure receptors, they can detect changes in the water and find prey. Crocodiles have them around their entire body whereas alligators only have them around their jaws. You can't really see one unless you're very close, and I hope that you're not getting that close to either a crocodile or an alligator, um, but here are some photos so you can see. Look, it looks like cake. All right, let's play our little game and see if you can identify them. What is this? That is an alligator. You can tell by its wider U-shaped jaw and lack of teeth. I'd like to interrupt this broadcast. Cake! It's been 20 minutes. Let's check on the cake. Myla, you're a dog. You can't eat chocolate cake. <coughs> this is why I always burn myself. I'm incompetent at oven. Anyways. What is this? That is an alligator again. How about... This one. That's a crocodile. Again, it has a longer, more V-shaped jaw, and you can see its toothy grin. You did it. What is this? Alligator. Yeah. What is this? 
surprise, that's actually a gharial. They're like the weird, freaky stepchild of their order. That's gharial, like this fish girl, if her name started with a G. Part of Crocodilia. Oh, oh, wait. <laughs> What would I pay, crocodilie, warm on the sand? Betcha on land, they understand that we're all part of this order. My jaws are thinner, could still eat you for dinner. And wait, there's more. <laughs> I'm, no, I'm I'm sorry. That that's a lie. There there isn't more. In case anyone was wondering, while this cake did end up looking like cake and having the texture of cake, it tasted gross. So, don't make it. Thanks for watching. See you later, alligator. Okay, bye.